Okay, Philip, well done. Fantastic. Um, third place and also first under 23. What's your reaction? Yeah, I'm just really happy with the day. I couldn't have went much better for me if I won the two races. Yeah, that would have been much better. But uh, no, I'm happy with the under 23 jersey and uh, the bronze medal in the elite race. I think it opens up a few doors for me now and I think it vindicates everything that's maybe been said in the last year about me, so I'm really happy. You were clear early on, was that a deliberate tactical thing or did it just unfold that way? Oh, I mean, I told people for the last month that that was what I would do. I'd go in the early break and then I wasn't back the road panicking. I was in the early break and then I split it when the guys came up with Nicholas. I went straight away and we split it straight away and that was the perfect tactic. Uh, you know, you, you bring down the numbers, Post tried to play a numbers game and we didn't allow them between the three riders that didn't have a team. It was kind of like an unspoken mutual attack at the start and everyone rode across. So it worked out really well. It came down to four of you. Martin Irvine was, was dropped on the hill and then when he got back on he attacked and got a big gap. Were you worried at that point? There was a little bit of, uh, it was up over the race ready, it was reported that there was a little bit of disagreement in, in the chase behind. No, there was never any disagreement. Uh, but what we said was wait till the, the headwind and Martin rode a very tactically smart race. He knew he wasn't getting over the hills and he attacked and it's what I would have done if I wasn't confident on the hills. When he turned into the headwind as he come around by the roundabout heading for the second climb, he started to come back to us there, which is, we knew that would happen. We never went full gas to bring him back and it kind of nulled the attacks that had started then anyway. So, uh, I mean, Martin rode a great race today considering he's doing track work and that was pretty climbing course and Martin you know, he'll admit himself he's not a climber, so I think he'd done a really good ride. You attacked a lot in the final run in. Uh, did you feel that it was it was too risky to leave it to a sprint, or what was the decision yeah, there? I, I wasn't confident with, with Roach and with Bramier. I've sprinted against Bramier before and beat him, and today I was cramping a little bit, and I just wasn't, it wasn't my kind of sprint. Like, if it was a bit more of a, a kick, a longer straight from the corner, maybe, but I was, I wanted to to cut my losses coming in, not cut my losses, but you know, it was always talk growing up that sprint is the last resort, and that's what I was thinking coming in the road on the road. In retrospect, I mean, the way things played out at the end, Bramier attacked after you were brought back, so do you still think you did the right thing, or do you wish you, you did it differently, or are you happy with it? It's done now, it's the right thing, and at the moment it was the right thing, and I, I can't go back and change it, so it doesn't make any odds really now. What's next for you? Uh, I'll probably have a little break now at home, maybe for a week, and uh, give uh, Griffo a ring and see how happy he is with me. If he's really happy, I'll probably be back over to, to race in Spain or France very soon, and uh, hopefully build up for the Tour of Britain and, and show my form for the Tour of Britain, and I think today will have helped, even though that's later on in the year. What do you want to have for next season, 2013? Uh, where do you want to be team-wise? Uh, I don't know. I've been speaking to a few teams now, but I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I know where I want to be, but I don't think it makes any odds saying it now. You know, so.